Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we'll be solving the lead code problem lowest common in sister and binary search tree. So let's get started. So the question is that they give you a binary search tree and they ask you to find the lowest common in sister. And the lowest common in sister is defined between two nodes as the lowest node and it has both nodes as descendant. The most important information that we have to solve this problem is that we have a binary search tree. And as we know, binary search tree and computer science is called called an ordered or sorted binary tree it means all the nodes in the left subtree are smaller than the root and all the right subtree are bigger than the root node. So to solve this problem we're going to take advantage of binary search tree and we're going to build the solution based on it. So let's say we have this input binary search tree. The first solution is going to be by using an iterative approach. So the two nodes are two and four and we're going to start iterating throughout the binary search and each time compare the current root to the two nodes value and see which direction we're going to take. The first thing we're going to do is to start at the root node, which is the input 6. We're going to compare the value of the root to the two node values, means if the root node value are smaller than the first node 2 and also the second root 4, we're going to switch the direction to the right subtree and eliminate all the left subtree of the root. Otherwise, if the two nodes are smaller than the current node, we're going to eliminate the right subtree and switch to the left subtree. So in this case, we eliminate the right and we traverse to the left. So here the current node are the two and the two nodes are 2 and 4. So here none of the condition that we did before are true means the lowest common ancestor are the current node itself because it can be a descendant on itself according to the definition of the lowest common ancestor. That's it guys. I don't know why uh, Leith code put it as a medium problem. I think it's uh, an easy problem. So let's jump at code in the solution. We're going to start iterating through our binary search tree starting at the current root node. Then we compare the current node value to the two nodes. If it's smaller than the two nodes, we traverse the right. Else, if the current node are bigger than the two nodes, we traverse the left. Otherwise, we return the current node. So the time complexity for this solution is of h, where h is the height of the binary search tree. But if the tree was skewed, the time complexity will be o of n. And the space complexity is o of 1 because there is no extra space memory used. The second solution is going to be a recursive solution. The first thing we're going to do is to check if the root are smaller than the minimum between the two nodes we're going to call the function in the right subtree. Else, if the root is bigger than the max between the two nodes value, we call the function lowest common ancestor at the left root. Finally, we return the root. So the time complexity for the recursion approach is O of H, where H is the height of the binary tree, and the space complexity is also O of H because the recursion stack will have to store H function calls. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.